What's up everybody? Once again, it is time for a Funko News Brief. Uh, this video was recorded on April 7th, 2018. Gonna start off with the focus on what is available now, mainly in the wild. So of course the 10 inch Thanos, a lot of people have been snatching that one up. You know, some people for their collections, then of course you got some people snatching it up to trade it. You know, that's all good regardless. But uh, I did want to point out some information about the 10 inch Thanos. Like I said already, it's available right now in Target stores here in the U.S. Uh, it, but it will be on Target's website later on this month if you're having trouble finding it in stores. So, uh, of course, I will try to update you all once it does go online. For those of you in Canada, uh, the 10 inch Thanos is going to be a Walmart exclusive. So keep your eyes open for it there. Now, right after I believe the, I did the last video, the 8-bit Rampage 3-pack went online. It is not available online at the time of this recording, but I'm sure it will get listed again. But of course, you can check for that within Walmart stores as well. Uh, the orange and purple Dumbo Mini Hikari 2-pack is available now. I'm sure that's available on you know certain websites. And I believe also sometimes you can find those within box lunch stores as well. Of course, one of the major releases for this week is the Goten Trunks 2-pack, which at the time of this recording is not available on Box Lunch's website. It's been kind of on and off of their site, but I did check with Funimation because it's available there as well, and it was still available on Funimation's website. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. I already got some links together for you all. I'm not sure if I added that one to the list, but I'll try to remember, but if I forget, just go to Funimation's website and you can find it pretty easily in their store. I do want to point out though, if you're big on stickers on the boxes, uh, there's a good chance that it will ship without the Funimation sticker on it. I believe that they save, uh, they're going to save that sticker for a particular event. So don't be surprised if you order from Funimation and it doesn't have the sticker. As far as Box Lunch is concerned, if you're able to order with them, it should have the Box Lunch exclusive sticker on it. Now, for those of you that may have missed out on the Ursula with Cruella de Vil 2-pack, which was a Hot Topic exclusive, that one is actually available on Pop Culture's website, which is an Australian-based Australian, uh, Australian -based, uh, website, and it doesn't have restrictions on it, so it, pretty much anybody can order that 2-pack. And again, that's mainly for those of you that may have missed out on that, especially for those of you that started collecting recently. Uh, the marionette uh, relating to Five Nights at Freddy's is available on Walmart's website. Um, and I will try, I think I have a link already for that uh, for you all, which I will have down in the description. Of course, with Walmart, I mean, if you could find it and get a close look at it and make sure the box and everything is okay, that's very much ideal. Um, you know, some people, though, do have good experiences when it comes to shipping with Walmart. So that's completely up to you. And then I'm going to strongly suggest that you take the time to check out Hot Topics website because they do have a lot of figures on sale. And some of them, especially ones that, you know, aren't the most popular, they're basically on clearance. Buy one, get one for a dollar. So, I mean, you really do have to kind of go through the list to find those deals. But I think it's worth it, again, especially if you are a new collector. So I mentioned the Solo Pops previously that they are about to release. And I think originally I said that they're supposed to release around the 13th. Seems like Funko may be moving up that um, release, you know, so they could possibly start hitting stores on Monday. I'm not sure if this includes all of the exclusives or not, but yeah, at least start looking for the commons, you know, the beginning of this week. I mean, really, you know, right around this time. Uh, do start looking for them. And uh, you do see here pictured in the upper right, this is an exclusive I hadn't shared previously. Uh, Tobias Beckett, which will be a Walmart exclusive. So again, um, I think Funko is probably going to do a video on these more than likely, you know, to um, go through the figures. Uh, do be on the lookout for that. Make sure you do check out their YouTube channel as well. Some other upcoming releases that I know a lot of people are hyped about, and these should be out by the end of this month, are the Losers Club pops of course relating to the movie it and then also the um pennywise figures which includes uh pennywise with the um spider legs or spider arms you know whatever you want to say there um also pennywise the amazon exclusive where he has georgie's arm he has the bloody mouth and then also the fye exclusive as well so yeah all these figures should start appearing very soon here because they're supposed to come out this month and of course as they start to hit shelves i will let you all know also you see here a pretty good image a much better image image of uh, the Georgie Chase figure with the arms separated, which I know a lot of people are going to be trying to get that one. So a couple of bits of information here. Um, 
To the left there you see that this pop ride that a lot of people are really waiting for, the Invader Zen pop ride, which was originally supposed to come out this month, but now it seems like it's going to come out next month in May. I'm not sure why it has been moved. Um, I don't know if they decided to maybe wait till after hot catch time to release that. You know, I mean, who really, who knows? But uh, again, be on the lookout for that one next month in May. King Aragorn. I mentioned this uh, pop previously. Originally, it was supposed to be a Toys R Us exclusive. It appeared at Funko HQ, and now it's going to be a Barnes & Noble exclusive. And you, in you can actually pre-order it right now, I believe. Um, just check their website. If it's not there, keep checking back. And, of course, check in stores as well. And once it hits shelves, you know, like always, I will let you all know. Uh, the t-shirt you see there in the upper right, that is to promote fanatics day out which is an upcoming event in various cities throughout the country and i think some other um places around the world as well honestly i've been trying to find more information about that i'm assuming that they have some forums and things set up for that i haven't really been able to find much details but i know this varies from city to city so you know if you live in a major city like um you know somewhere like los angeles uh just check around you know ask around and see if you can find more information about what's going on with fanatics day out because in a way, is it's like a national thing, but it, or like a worldwide thing, but it's also kind of locally handled. It's not exactly handled the same way in every location. So on the Funko shop, they did add Lawyer She-Hulk, which was a Toys R Us exclusive, and it actually is still available right now if you're interested in it. And it is limited to one um, per customer. Uh, some people are having some issues with that whole one one um, figure per customer thing because they may have more than one collector within their household but you know that that's something that Funko is trying their best to deal with because of course people don't want a flipper to be able to order a bunch of a figure so you know it's, it's just a tough situation all around basically I, I know that Funko is doing their best with that though but again that figure is still available now Cole Obsidian had uh somebody you know basically said that he had appeared in um Target's uh, uh system basically but he is on track still to release with Walgreens as a Walgreens um, exclusive. And there is a placeholder link already. Remember, placeholder means you cannot order him yet. But it does show him. It actually shows the image of the figure on a Walgreens website. Which means he should be available pretty soon. As far as Infinity War is concerned, there are more Dwarves figures on the way. Including a Walgreens exclusive Captain America. I think there's going to be a common Captain America as well, which I don't think there is. I'm not really sure if there's one out there yet already. And then um, Spider-Man, or I should say Iron Spider with the arms, is going to be available as well. And this one could be a store exclusive, but that's really not known at this point. So moving on here uh, with BAM or Books A Million, they do have two exclusives that are available for pre-order right now, including a Godzilla figure which appears to be like a black and white variant basically and that is a six inch figure and then they also have this character here from game of thrones Tormund giants bane as well so if you're interested in those uh, i'm going to put links in the description you can go and pre-order those also available for pre-order is Zeno from Dragon Ball. And um, that's another link that I will share for you all. I do want to point out that this is a Galactic Toys exclusive. And they do have some bundle deals. You can order Zeno along with Shinron. Or you can order Zeno along with Shinron. And then also Goku on the Flying Nimbus. So you have your options there if you have missed out on some of those other previous Galactic Toys exclusives. Now these figures here, um, I'm pretty interested in. You see here they have a Pickle Rick PX Previews exclusive. As a matter of fact, all of these are PX Previews exclusives. So of course, this version of Pickle Rick is just the pickle. None, you know, none of the rat parts or anything added on to him. Also from DC Comics, particularly the Sandman series, they have a Death Pop on the way. Now I haven't read Sandman yet. I've had a, a friend strongly suggesting that I check out that series, and I plan to um, soon enough. And I really do like the design of that death figure. So even without having read the series yet, you know, once that becomes available, I can see myself picking it up. Also, again, another PX Previews exclusive. There is a two pack of Black Bolt and Lockjaw. And you notice that with Lockjaw, it looks like he's in the middle of transporting himself because the body is somewhat clear. Uh, this it appears to be a SDCC exclusive. So um, now that's not confirmed. You know, this is basically a rumor. I could have stuck this in the rumor mill, but you see that the figures are legit at least. But we'll learn more about the release of all these figures soon enough. And as always, I will update you when I can.
A big reveal this week has been the WWE Pops, which we already seen the list of these before I had them in the rumor mill previously. So you see they're here that they have the Hardy Boys 2-pack, which uh, did briefly go on Amazon listed at $11, and it seems like they caught that error pretty quickly because it's not available at that price right now. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if the pre-order is actually available, but they do show the figures on their site. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to get it at that price if you heard the rumors about that or not. And um, as far as I know, the Hardy's Boy 2-pack is not exclusive to Amazon. It just happened to be on Amazon, though. Uh, they also have Vince McMahon here with a Chase variant, which I actually like the Chase just because to me it feels, um, you know, the, with the colors of the suit, it just feels more like old school WWE or WWF. So that's why I like that Chase pretty much. Um, Sergeant Slaughter. The design is just dead on. That's definitely Sergeant Slaughter. Really on point with that. They have Triple H. This is a Skull King Triple H. And you see here, instead with the chase, instead of just doing a color variant, they actually did make it very different. So with the um, Common, he doesn't have the helmet on. And with the chase, he does have that helmet on. So that definitely is a big difference there. And I think uh, wrestling fans will especially want that chase there. Um, you also see Kurt Angle. Again, the design, the design looks pretty dead on to me. And then also, this is pretty interesting uh, for Asuka. They have a, she's a Target exclusive, but you can get a Chase variant also at Target. And then they also have a Walmart exclusive a variant of her. So kind of interesting that she's pretty much all exclusive either to Target or Walmart. Um, these figures up for a June release. And to the right here, you also see some upcoming WWE pop tees as well i'm not sure about where exactly they will release that if they're going to be widely available or if they'll go to a particular store or not but of course you know once the release um once these things start to appear in stores then i will share that with you all with the rumor mill got just a couple of quick things to share with you all so first of all it seems like there's been some kind of talk you know between um basically people that are associated with nascar and funko so it, you know, it's possible that we could see NASCAR pops um, on the way in the future for Funko. And um, I'm not sure if that's going to be just current drivers or, you know, Hall of Famers. Or, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Um, also, as far as Five Nights as Freddy is concerned, I've already shared previously, of course, that there are more figures on the way. There's almost always more figures on the way with Five Nights at Freddy's. And you see the characters listed here. Kelpie, Orville, Pig Patch and Rockstar Foxy. Um, I also noticed that with these it says Pop Books. So, um, you know, with these Five Nights at Freddy's books, it seems like that's where they're really focusing right now. Um, also, you see here it says that there could be another Okoye Pop on the way, of course, Okoye from Black Panther, which, um, yeah, in the, in the movie, I felt like she wore the same costume the majority of the time, except for the uh, casino scene. So, um, Maybe that's the outfit that they will go with for her. You know, time will tell with that. You know, it could be um, basically the same Okoye that we've seen, but with just a different pose. You know, regardless, it is cool to know that Okoye will be more widely available if you want to have an Okoye figure in your collection. Um, I also want to point out that, you know, Spyro, they, uh, they have the upcoming remastered release of the, three, uh, the first three games, and they're calling it the Reignited Trilogy. And just the fact that this release is on the way, it seems much more likely that the rumored uh, Spyro pop could happen. So again, that's not confirmed, you know, still treating it like a rumor for now. So that is going to do it for this Funko News Brief. Um, I really wanted this video up a lot sooner, but I'm still struggling with technical issues right now. I'm doing my best to work through those, so don't be surprised if you see my videos going up at more odd times than usual. I already kind of post at odd times, but yeah, I'm, I'm really um, you know, working my way through these technical issues, and hopefully I can find a way to smooth these out soon enough. I'm also kind of struggling with... Um, we have a lot of pollen here in South Carolina, so that is affecting my voice some. But again, you know, that's something else that I'm working through. So, yeah, I'm making sure I do my best to keep you all updated. I hope you all appreciate it. I hope you all continue to, um, you know, uh, make sure that you like the videos, share the videos. If you haven't si signed up for notifications, please make sure that you do so. That is very much appreciated. And big shout out to the notification squad, those of you that jump right on the videos. And big shout out to my patrons as well for continuing to support my efforts. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. And I will talk to you all again real soon.